Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashine. If you're new here, if you're not new here, thanks for coming back. <laughs> um, today, we're gonna tackle something that is like a serious issue of mine. I'm stalling because that is literally how I feel about this project right now, but it's literally just overdue at this point. It needs to be done. So let me show y'all what I'm talking about. So I want to tackle this room. Like it is a mess. This is where we do our schoolwork. This is where I do nails and work or try to work on like videos and stuff sometimes. It's just very uninspiring at the moment and I am sick of it. Doing nails, the table is literally so long, like it's hard to reach over and it's just, it's just not, there's no storage that I really need like underneath here. So, which brings me to my next problem. Let me show you. This closet. This closet has a lot of things I use for like my business in here and more nail supplies. It's just, the room is, it just needs an overhaul, a whole makeover. So I have to clear it out because that's the first step of any makeover is clearing out the room. So that's what we're about to do right now. I'm going to clear it out and then I'm going to try to get some painter's tape in here so that I can kind of mark off what I'm thinking. Um, I might insert some pictures of the vision. I don't want y'all to see because what if it don't turn out like I want it to? But I guess I can tell you a little bit. <laughs> so this is the, the plan. All right. So just imagine. So I want like a built-in, like faux built-in because I like to move stuff around a lot. So I'm, I haven't decided if I want to commit to actually like installing a built-in, you know? Cause if I want to change the room, I, I need the flexibility to do so. That's just how I am as a person. So whatever. But I'm thinking like one here, keep these two there with the doors of course. And then another one here and then I want to let me zoom out. Put the desk in front of it there, and then I want to make a corner here for Rain. So I'll put a desk here for him. And I'm thinking like some um, designs or like paint on this corner right here, so he can still feel like he has a schoolroom, but it doesn't take over the entire office. We also have to work with this TV that's here. It's mounted. The wire won't be seen. I, I just moved the wire out, but. Our TV is mounted um, and it's a full swivel mount so it can go really anywhere in the room like you can see it from anywhere so I'm not too worried about that. I know I need some drawers for storage so I'm probably going to grab a couple of Alex drawers so this video I think it's probably going to turn into like a shopping with me and completing the project type of thing. We'll see how that goes but right now the goal is to clear the room out so let me get started doing that. Okay, so I'm back, taking a small break. I'm out of breath a little bit. My battery died, so that's why I cut off. And now I'm working with only one battery because for whatever reason, those aren't working anymore. I had two extra batteries. Oh, it's dark. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had two extra batteries. They're not working anymore, so I'm down to one battery. I just ordered some on Amazon like two minutes ago. So they should be here at some point in time, tonight or tomorrow. I'm so out of breath. Let me give y'all an update of where I am progress wise. All right, so I have cleared out this corner and that corner, I guess. And the shelves are cleared out, a little bit of the table. And <laughs> I also went to the shed and got the wagon because girl, I was going back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, actually, I'm not gonna do this to myself. So now I'm gonna finish clearing out this inside of here. It's a mess, like, it's just a mess. So. I'll finish that part and then I'll come back once the room is completely empty. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> oh my God, my kid is so loud, I'm closing it. I'm so thirsty to see what it's gonna look like, y'all. I literally just struggled and put two of the Billy bookcases on top of each other because right now, I don't know if I made mention of this already, but let's have a chat. I don't know if I wanna build them from scratch or if I want to hack 
some ikea shelves the problem is i think the ones that i want the black ones are not available next to me and i really just didn't want to like you hear this i really just didn't want to like paint this ikea furniture i really don't feel like dealing with that but i could save some coin and use the ones i already have i could definitely do that so let me show y'all what it looks like when they're stacked up so this is i took that one from right there and put it on top of here and i think this is like the height of the, the other one so I kind of want to empty out this one and stack it just to see like both of them what they will look like but this is what it's getting right now it's not bad um it's not bad at all so I definitely would have to like uh what do you call secure this to the wall because they're not supposed to be stacked so please kids do not try this at home they're not supposed to be stacked at all and then for that gap right there i'm not sure what i would do about that maybe i would um i don't know maybe put some some wood right there like uh like another one like this just put it out so it doesn't like show you like the what do you call those kickbacks so it'll be like kind of flush hmm i have some thinking to do because this i did not think of this as a possibility but now it is for me so let me finish clearing out the room. I just want to show you all this. been cleaned out it literally took me three hours and I did take some breaks but it still took me three hours to clear out this room but it's clean now I left these guys in here because I just wanted to feel the vibes and make sure this was like the direction I wanted to go sorry for moving so much my camera's not on a tripod I just wanted to see if this was the direction I wanted to go and when I say everything is cleaned out even this very full messy closet it looks a disaster in my home right now because i had to find somewhere to store all these things but it's cleaned so now we're gonna move on to the next thing so far we're three hours in i think i'm gonna keep track of how many hours it takes me to do this so stay tuned all right so it is day two of Lay Projects. I am on the way to Ikea. I just thought I'd make mention that I did change the design. I will show you guys everywhere that I go to get things from today. So today is day two, and I'm just gonna say this out loud so that I won't have too many expectations for myself. The only expectation or goal that I have today is to buy the doors, I guess. Like I have no expectations to get started the project my only expectation is to collect at least half of the materials that i need for this project Okay, so we're inside of Ikea. I picked a desk for myself. Well, for rain already, I'm still trying to pick one for myself. I am torn between, one second. Um, I don't see the other one, because I think it's with the like dressers, but this one right here, the Alex. I like this one. Um, I just, no, I like this one. It has a nice size to it. And I, of course, would change the bottoms, like the legs. I like this one too because it's kind of big but it doesn't have any storage which is kind of making it not attractive to me but I do like this part so can we switch the chair? Rain has picked out a chair he likes this red one 
Yeah, and you have a drawer for your things. Uh -huh. Put your color pencils and your crayons. crayons in there. Or I could put the color pencil with the crowns. You could. Or I, and I could put something else in here, like the, some glue, if I need it. You could. Put all the things in the back. My poor child is squished. That was a long trip, and it wasn't supposed to be. I got kind of caught up. Um, sorry, the air's blasting. I got kind of caught up on the closet storage because I didn't have the measurements with me. And if you go to IKEA and you don't have like your measurements for like the closet systems, you kind of can't really do much because it works like all the pieces fit together, whatever. So, long story short, I ended up. <laughs> I thought I ended up like. I played with it on my phone and I ended up making one and literally gets to like the last two pieces and guess what they're out of stock that's why I personally do everything that I want from Ikea at home on my computer and make sure it's in stock at my location before I even go to the store because like who wants to deal with that nobody so today is day three of the room transformation I am headed to the hardware store I would say Home Depot or Lowe's but I'm gonna go to Lowe's first because it's closer and if they don't have what I need then I'm going to Home Depot so ultimately we're just going to the hardware store and we're gonna pick up some paint um what else have to pick up some paint some some rollers tape you know all the good stuff to get the rest of the things done for the project and then depending on how long this takes I may or may not come home and start sanding everything down because I need to I need to spackle the walls and get them ready for uh, to be like painted all that blue stuff that's on the walls I definitely need to like sand that stuff down and spackle all the holes so I'm gonna start that today as well as start to sand the um, the the bookcases so they can get painted black Oh yes, another thing we gotta get. We gotta get a, a paint sprayer because baby, I'm not, I'm not interested in trying to um, sit here and hand paint these things one by one. I want to spray them. I want it done fast, and I want it done evenly and nice. So. Let me show y'all what I got so far. So right now, I like you see, it's flat now. It was kind of raised before, but I sand it down. All those dots back there. It's going in and out of focus because it's, it's kind of hard to see them, but all the dots from the other day, I went ahead and sanded those down. So I only have this half of the room left. It's quite a few. Like it's actually taking a little bit of elbow grease. Let me show you how I do it. So this, you see this piece is very blue and it's very thick. Like I actually probably could scrape a little bit off of my finger. Let's see. Whatever, yeah, the rest of that's not coming off. So I just take the sandpaper and sand it down until it's like pretty flat. I don't have to go like all the way, all the way to the drywall because my, as you can see, my walls are textured. So once I paint over it, it will be fine. But I do want it to be flat. I don't want it to be raised. So I just keep doing that over all of them until they're flat. <laughs> All right, so I just want to show you guys what I got from Lowe's before I start opening things. So I got this uh, Wagner Control Painter because I told y'all I was not about that rolling thing. I wasn't about that. I got, um, what do you call this? A mallet, a crowbar, and this is for the closet more so, like to get that stuff off. Um, this is the paint that I end up getting for the bookcases, I hope this works the way I think it. I want it to because I kind of want the shelves to be like a matte finish. So I got this milk paint. We'll see if it sticks and if I even like it. I got this um, shellac based primer because everyone was saying, my camera's not focusing, sorry y'all. Everyone was saying that this is the only way that you can paint like Ikea furniture is if you have this primer. So I did not want to be a fool and I just got it. I got a paint tray, of course, some sponge rollers. This is for the primer because you cannot put this inside of the spray gun, I don't believe. So I got some of these for the primer and for the patches on the walls. I got some uh, plastic drop cloth for my desk legs because the desk I bought 
has white legs and I want them to be like a shiny gold. So I got this. Hopefully this is the right color that I'm thinking it is. Um, these are the colors that Rain picked out for his little quadrant of the room. So I'll show you guys how I plan to do something with those. And this is the drywall speckle that I actually need to use right now. And I also got these shelves. I got three of them. Let me see. Oh, this one is facing the right way. These are the shelves that I'm going to place above the bookcase. And they look like, I'm going to try to see if I can get a picture of it. This is what they look like. I look like Kevin, the minion. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you in your butt. by hand I didn't press super hard because I didn't want to put any like indentations in anything but whew, everything's been sanded except like the kickboard at the bottom I will do that once I like flip it over in a second so I haven't really decided if I want to spray them in here or not I'm reading the back of this and it said I didn't even have to sand anything but I don't know I just learned from personal experience I always sand my stuff even if it's just very lightly so Let's just see. Uh, drive time. Oh, 45 minutes. Okay, I'm back. Um, I changed clothes. I'm finished for today, guys. I don't have the desire to do any more. Um, so far, I have primed this one. And I've done all of the like sides and corners like in here right there in this area right there. I've done it on all the shelves for all four of the bookcases, but this is the only one that has like actual coats on it. I don't know what day it is, but I'm outside because I'm gonna attempt to spray another coat of primer onto these um, bookshelves. I use one coat of um, the bin primer. And then I saw another video saying that I could use a coat of kilt after that so that's what I'm gonna try to do I've never used a sprayer before but I just know that painting with that roller was getting on my nerves so I'm hot it's like 100 degrees outside but I'm also just my house is a disaster because of this project and I'm I've had enough so I have my paint in this thing right here and I've thinned it out I didn't measure I just kind of put a little bit until it looked right. And now I'm gonna plug it up and try it out. It. No, I don't want you to plug it. So, they say you're supposed to test it out first. I don't have a, I don't have cardboard because I don't feel like fighting this piece of paper. I'm nervous, honestly. If don't I can, be nervous. If I can be completely honest. Whoa! I don't know what to do. It's not coming out. Do I have to squeeze the trigger? Ah. Okay. Attempt to do the bookcase now, one of them. I feel like that was a fail. I think it just dries, mommy, because the, the air blows out too. I think it was a fail. It felt like a fail. Like a giant fail. And mostly, I guess I can't really see because it's white on white, so I'm not really sure if it even 
is a fail yet. Wait, it's, sh it's shiny. It's very, it was very fast. I will say that much, but it felt like a fail. Did it fail? Um, I think for the next, don't touch it. Go in the house. Okay, so I changed the position of the boards. Not the boards. Y'all, it's so hot I can't even think straight. I changed the position of the, um, what am I doing? Bookshelves. So let's see if this is easier to paint. I feel like I used a lot of paint just now. I think I'm just out of paint. So let me refill it and start over because it's not working right now. I'm back to report what happened. It's been like maybe three hours since the last time I recorded. I've been in and outside. I probably got paint up my nose, so just excuse what you see. So, uh, a lot of trial and error, and I think I finally figured out how to work the sprayer. Very beginner, minus-ish, not even, ooh, a wasp. <laughs> this is where I be inside. I turned the room into like a spray area because I told y'all I wasn't doing this outside anymore. So far, we have this much of the bookcase painted before I ran out of paint. Not entirely, I just need to add more to the thing, but after doing that, I was like, okay, that's not gonna be enough for four bookcases indoors, so I went to get some more paint, but it looks pretty good. Like, I was kind of scared that it was gonna be bumpy, but I don't know if you guys can see, but this is pretty smooth. I'm so crusty. There's paint on my face now. I'm out here in the trenches. 
I'm gonna just say that. The fan is going, so excuse the noise, y'all. So I tried to paint the doors with the sprayer a fail, mostly like it's kind of hard to paint with a sprayer going down. Like it just, it's not a very good angle to paint with the sprayer. So I didn't stand them up. So I can't stand them up, so I didn't. So I just decided that I was gonna paint them with the roller and the brush for two reasons. One, because it was making a mess. Two, because I actually, I would be so disgusted if I have to go to the store and get another container of paint. Like literally at Milo's, there's only one left, first of all. And I just don't wanna go to the store. So I'm gonna um, paint them with a roller or whatever. And let me show you what they look like right now. So this is after like, one and a half coats maybe no i'm gonna say two that's like two coats so it definitely needs another coat and possibly another one after that for sure but yeah it's very sketchy Okay, y'all, welcome back to the vlog. It's a different day. The fans are going, I still look crazy. So if you're offended by this, or you came to this vlog to see like super cute DIY girl, leave now, because that's not what this is. This is, I'm wearing the same clothes because I'm not messing up any clothes. DIY girl, my hair is crazy. My glasses are crazy, I'm crazy. So here's the issue. So I'm ready to move on, right? And to get the rest of the room put back together because the bookshelves are painted, the wall is painted, and this is where the problem began. Um, so last yesterday I painted the wall, painted. I painted the wall and I went in to like clean up the edges. Well, the white paint that I bought to touch up that I was advised was the same color as my house paint, it was not. So that began this whole snowball effect of me not having the right paint color. I can't move on through the rest of the room because I don't have the right paint color. So I've been to Home Depot and two PPG stores to try to find the right paint color that the contractors use. I'm currently on this one right here. You can see it's kind of dark drying on the wall. Um, I'll let you know if it works because it's literally holding me up. But I'm trying to be productive still, but it's very discouraging because obviously i want my walls to be like complete looking i don't want like patches of random white paint like there are right now let me show you because it's not the same color so this darker one that's still kind of wet is the color that i just came back with and so i'm trying to give it a chance to dry and hopefully it matches but right now it is not looking promising at all i'm gonna go um outside and turn off the breaker so that i can change out the light fixture we're gonna change the narrative right now i'm gonna get back motivated because I'm almost about to say screw this whole project. small check-in so the last time I saw you guys was maybe yesterday or the day before whenever I was fit putting up the light fixture that's the last time I saw y'all it has been a time and a half first of all the light fixture I send it back because 
they tried to play me and they didn't send me the right parts um the screws were too long to put up the what do you call that thing i can't think about it i'll put it on the screen the screws are too long to put up that on the wall so i was literally looking like a crazy person um i the power did come on though just so y'all be like she don't know what she's doing um i verified that it the the light worked before i was sitting up there trying to struggle with that thing i plugged in a light bulb and turned the light on and it worked it wasn't that it was something else so i said you know what i don't have to fight with this i can literally send it back and order another one so i ordered another one not even the same one not the same light fixture i didn't feel like dealing with that one at all i ordered a whole different one the other part of the dilemma is the contractors lied about what color paint is in our home so i have literally been to the paint store maybe five or six times at this point getting different paint and none of them match so long story short i had to repaint this whole room so that's what i'm in the process of doing right now hey guys welcome back to the vlog i don't know the last time or the last thing i told you guys but it's been a time so let me tell you what's going on right now let me give you an update so last night, let me close this door because the turtle tank is so loud. Um, last night, I just decided to repaint the whole room white, which was torture, but it's done now. Okay, so also I put the shelves back into the room, some gold hardware. There is a couple areas on the doors that I want to touch up. I'll do that in like the next hour or so. So the order of business for today is to install the light fixture, which is on its way. Am I out of focus? Install the light fixture, oh girl. And then the, the foolishness already started this morning, let me tell you. So I tried to install the floating shelves above here, right? And these little things, what do you call them? These suck so i did a walmart pickup because i don't feel like going inside of another store unless i'm looking for a desk chair or something fun like i'm tired of doing like hardware things i don't want to i don't want to go in another store so i did a walmart pickup order for like the toggle ones that look like screws kind of so hopefully those will be better I'm leaving it just like that. <laughs> Do you see that? Girl. I'm about to start a business. Look at this, guys. I love it. So, from Ross, I got this, um, 
call this? Hourglass? Gold clock. And everything you're gonna see is mostly black and gold, but I honestly wanted some white stuff. I just couldn't find it. So I'm gonna play around and see what this stuff even looks like. And if I don't like it, I'll return it and just order some stuff online. Face thingies. This link thing, this is probably about the, the only white thing that I could find. Globe. Because it looks fun and globes just say office. It says international bay. It says I'm working. It says I'm making deals. So I got a globe. It's happiness is homemade. I thought that was so cute. So I got that. It's a little cheesy, but I like it. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with it. I also got a candle because duh. Um, I don't even think I got this for aesthetic purposes. I really smelled it and it smells fire. It is a wild amber candle and this is the details. It smells so good. On to Ikea. So Ikea stuff, um, one second. <laughs> Let me catch my Jerry curl. Pegboard. This is for Rain's desk area. I got three of these for his artwork. Scuddies. Scuddies. It's the ones with the white top on them. And you can put like erasers and stuff in here. How do you say this? I got this bracket. Here's the other one. I got these curtain hooks. And I got these like rings and stuff for the curtains. It's special about the curtain rod in here. They have some beautiful had some beautiful houndstooth curtains that I really wanted, but they were out of stock. And also they did not match Rain's corner of the room. Caps for the curtain rod and I got this curtains as well. Uh, these are the Hannah Lee Lil, something like that. Okay, so I'm back. Now, I know, I know, I know I said in a vlog before, if you're new here, you don't know. But I told y'all, I don't care how much money I got, where my batteries coming from? The Dollar Tree. But, hindsight, <laughs> I think I might actually have to buy some real batteries for these, these lights. <laughs> Because I don't know if they're going to be like, if they're going to drain the lights, you know, the batteries or not. And who wants to be changing batteries every week? Not me. So I was highly considering, obviously depending on if I like the lights, because it takes three each. That's a lot of batteries. So highly considering getting some rechargeable. Oh, it's so bright. I'm so excited. Oh, I love it. I was highly considering getting some rechargeable batteries, y'all, because I think I think this is that situation where it's gonna be the one-off. That's dumb. Yay. I'm so excited, guys! They look so cute. Turn off the big light. Ooh! Oh, you guys can't even see. This is a mood, sis. Now, definitely still gonna need some other lighting in here with in addition to these, but this is definitely like, do they get brighter? This is a mood. Like, I feel like I'm, it looks like I'm in the dark, but I'm really not. It's just, oh, I can't even show y'all. I'm so mad. But it looks so good though.
inside of the office or whatever and I have started to uh, demo the closet because I finally went to Ikea um, and got my stuff that was in stock, it was out of stock the last time I went. They were finally in stock so I went ahead and got them and today I decided that I would demo the closet area. So I have ripped out, I'm recording on my phone too by the way because my all my memory cards are full because I have so much editing to do but that's not what this video is about. So I ripped out everything and I just wanted to show you guys like what that process looks like. I used my screwdriver to unscrew this guy and now I'm just gonna take this out. I'm gonna save this because I paid for it, number one. Number two, I might need it later. I'm gonna unscrew this part too. And now, I'm gonna see if I can just pull up it. Oh, whoop, that was easy. <laughs> That's not gonna work. I'm gonna need a utility knife, I'll be right back. All right, so I got my utility knife, my very weak utility knife at that, but um, I'm just gonna try to score. I need to move these boards. Let me do that. Cause I ain't trying to hurt myself. It would be best to break the coffee. Look at that, it's coming off a little bit better. So I'm gonna start on this side. Cause I didn't break the coffee for this and I felt like maybe I could have had a cleaner job if I did, so. I'm just gonna break all the caulking and then I'll let you guys know the next step. I'm gonna make it this side. All right. Okay, I think I can get on the ladder and do it now. Oh, it's nailed in. But all I have to do is as I can't do it anymore. All I have to do is like get the the, the hammer behind the trim and just pop it out. See that? All right, so the closet demolition has finished. I have yanked out all the shelves. This is the hole, let me show you all the hole. This is the giant hole that I put that I'm gonna have to figure out how to fill. Like, this is a, it's a really big hole. So, so I'm pretty much gonna call it a wrap for the day because I didn't even plan on doing anything that I just did. I just kind of got the urge. So I got up and did something with that energy, but um, yeah, now it's gone. I'm very happy about it being gone. So here is the poll for the new system. And I'm gonna stop it at the baseboard and take it up to here so it literally will just come right up to where the other shelf was basically so um i just have to go tomorrow to get some paint and i guess while i'm out i'll get those canvases because they're kind of sort of in the same shopping center <sighs> y'all this is just i'm ready for this to be over with because it's just taking a long time all right i'm still vlogging on my phone i have put the patch up on the wall I also used this one for the smaller holes, like the one that was right here, and the two that were over there. This one you can cut to size, and you just spray it with water to activate it. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's wet, and I have to spray it to activate the plaster. I have to let these dry for 30 minutes, and then come back and spackle them, which is perfect, because hopefully this will be dry by then. Um, I used this one on top, but, I started off with this, I need to bring this back to the store because this is very like soupy and liquidy and it was making a mess everywhere. I just wasn't used to working with that texture of material. I'm used to this one is like nice and thick like putty. So I ended up just using that because I was more comfortable with it and it actually worked better because at first the, um, I don't know if you can see it in the last clip, but like the ends were sticking up. So this uh, drywall, plaster, whatever you wanna call it, speckle, 
this spackle right here and weighed down the end so it's flush to the wall now. I might have some paint on my face because I finished painting this. Look at it, it looks beautiful. You can't even see my holes or nothing. Like, you don't have no roaches or nothing. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, it looks great. So I'm actually, I put the fan on it for like um, 30 minutes and it feels dry to the touch. I'm about to move on. I'm, I'm ready to move on, but it looks good though. I will say this much. You see, there's nothing. You can't see that one. That one's still drying. But um, I will say this much, baby. I'm not trying to make no more holes because outside of those little small ones, the filling those big ones, torture. <laughs> I'm winded. I just finished this closet. It took way longer than I thought it was gonna take. It took a little bit of getting like the hang of, but it is installed. Let me turn the camera around so you can get a better view. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know. I just got a stuffy nose all of a sudden, so excuse my voice. But yeah, all the shelving has been installed and screwed into the wall. And now I need to clean up this mess because I have stuff everywhere. I did, I did, I did have two extra. I did have two extra shelves, so I'm just gonna use them in my son's room. But right now my goal is to just clean up this mess and put everything back in here because the moment has come. Like we've been waiting and here it is, two weeks later, but it's here. Yeah. 